Ponyai. Yeah, I'll check there, man. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Hi, Hello. Hello. So, a couple of things has happened. My main uh, camera for recording, my Galaxy S7, got the bursting screen, and uh, well, it doesn't work anymore. So, I had to get a new uh, camera to do some recording. But I need a new phone. I'm gonna keep using it. It's an uh, S9 Plus Galaxy. Should be more than enough for, for our uh, camera, and YouTube, and phone, whatever else. Also, so we got in the mail today a new car. This one here, yes, finally. It's a JJRC Q61, and it's the uh, 4x4 version because. I wanted a 6x6, but then again, more axles, more hassle. So I went with the Q61 version, the 4x4. Look, look, look. Ah, got some light. Yes. And also, I got a new transmitter. This one here. Flysky FS GT2B. It's a three channel. Reasons why? Because it's simple. And also, the mini boss. And start using some pistol cap transmitters. Yes, I'm still not used to this camera, but yeah, I'm gonna give it a try anyways. So, I'm gonna get the car and some parts. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it works. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get the car. Uh, there we go. And yuppie. Mm -hmm. And some parts. We're gonna need some new tires. I'm gonna show you why. These are the MN90. Very good tires, I like them. Very glad. Uh, I'm gonna need some parts here. Mm. Nope, not the transmitters. Screw that on. I have this. New transmission, the two speed gearbox. It's the same as to use on the WTL. Of course, this one had a uh, 130 stock motor. Ugh, it was so weak. Also, we're gonna create some drive shafts. Either this one or this one. This one here was recommended to me by Grounded uh, RC. Looks very nice indeed. Okay. Uh, what was this? Uh, yeah, yeah, so. Man. You, not, no, no, not today, not, not today, not today. So, the reason for the tires, yes, yes, yes. When I got this car, <coughs> the package, as normally you get from uh, China, it was banged and smushed. And the tires was pressed on, on packet, so... This tire here, it was so damaged, it's, it ripped apart. Nee. Ah, you can see that. So, I'm gonna put on some new tires. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I look at this battery here. Oh, do, do, do. This is a 6 volt, 600 milliampere. It lasted for uh, maybe two minutes. So we need to beef that up. Look here. <laughs> and the details on the interior. Yeah, so 
I guess we start with the uh, battery. And I'm not sure how to take this apart, but um, hmm. there's a couple, a couple of screws here, so. Okay, so I have only two screws for the bed. Okay, so now to take up the cabin. Hmm. Is there some screws under the hood? Or bullet, if you say. Remove the uh, front bumper. There's a couple of more screws here. Okay. I take out the transmission. Uh, Another good point. Look at the live shot. Look at the live shot. With the uh, lift spring, you can just do it like this. Voila! Can you do it on the front too? I'm going to keep this one here. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. I knew it's doing it's doing so well with Metal Gears. Yeah. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let's see, now I'm just going to grab my tools. Yeah, yeah, much better. So after the annoying hours with the axle issues, it's starting to look uh, more or less complete. I fitted a new ESC, a quick run, uh, it's a quick run, uh, 1625, 25 amps. Uh, the steering is uh, like this stock one. But I changed the servo. Uh, you can see the two-speed two speed gearbox with the uh, 370 motor. And I made a small notch here, uh, hole you can see, uh, for the motor and the wires for now. New tires are on. Yes, as you notice, I'm using uh, WP uh, axles, but these axles, of, uh, axles. <laughs> these are fully metal, except the, except the housing. And this front axle, same as same as the rear, are full metal, except the housing. The knuckles are from the. Uh, I don't know, some uh, weird metal axle that didn't work, it kept grinding, so I swapped some parts, parts around. Yeah, so we, we, we uh, WPL and, uh, and uh, JJRC, Veltoys, 
kind of like Lego. Like you see the new uh, axles, no, not axles, but uh, the drive shafts. This one is going to be powered by a 2S LiPo. I want to have some LEDs and I want to use the uh, LEDs that came with the truck. And they were about, I, I, I guess, around 3 volts. So, I'm taking power from the uh, receiver. Gives you about 5-ish volt. And, I mean, this is the stock wiring. I just connected here on the uh, negative on the ground wire. Connected uh, 100 and, uh, uh, 150 ohm resistor. Yeah, th this is just uh, uh, loose for now. I need to uh, solder it and glue it in. So the last thing before I call it a day or night is this little server for the gearbox. I had some issues uh, shifting it to. Uh, into the other gear. So it will always uh, go backwards, jumping, grinding in the gearbox because of the alignment. So what I did, I grinded a little bit away from the servo arm. Just a little bit. Now it works. Okay guys. Uh, yes, okay, so I had so much fun <laughs> building this truck, I forgot about the time. It's now 2 a.m. in the morning, uh, so no wonder I'm tired. And I forgot to charge the LiPo batteries, and I went right before I wanted to do a test run, I noticed a little issue with the front axle, so I need to swap that out. So I think that's it for this video. So, uh, Man, I really want to do a test run with this truck. Well, that's for another video. Click like if you like it. Subscribe.